vlogs day three so right now it is i think it's like 9 a.m let me have a look yeah it's 10 past nine right now and i basically just went downstairs to say bye to Safa. she's just gone on a run around central park she asked if i wanted to go with her but running is really not my thing and it's freezing plus i don't have any running stuff anyway so i'm just gonna stay in the room but basically i went downstairs and i took a room key and then the room key didn't work when i came back up so i had to go down and i had to wait in this really long queue and i've only just got back into my room like 35 minutes later and i was in my sock like I was literally in the lobby when everybody was like dressed up for winter in this top that says New York and my socks but I'm finally back in the room and I am just going to tidy it up a little bit now because we have kind of wrecked it with shopping and emptying our suitcases all over the floor because you don't really have a big wardrobe we have wrecked this room so I'm going to tidy it and then I'll show you it once it's tidy room is looking so much more tidy now I've actually repacked my whole suitcase and I've kind of sorted everything out I don't know what I'm going to wear today but before I even worry about that I'm just going to do my makeup this is all the makeup Makeup. I actually went and bought yesterday a EOS lip balm. These are my favourite lip balms ever. I wanted to get the stick ones because Byron loves them and I've got to try and get him some whilst I'm here but I could only find this one but honestly if you haven't tried EOS lip balm they're some of the best. I know a lot of people can find them drying but I personally love them so I'm going to do my makeup. Oh and a lot of people were asking as well what my lashes were on yesterday's like Instagram picture and stuff. It was these ones. They are the GWA Girls with Attitude Fantasy Lashes in Princess. They they are from Primark and they are some of my favourite eyelashes ever. Right, well, the last clip you would have seen, I don't even know what it was. I think I was about to do my makeup. A lot has happened since then. So, I went to Soul Cycle. And basically, Sap had booked it, and it was like 20 minutes before, and I was like, you know what, okay, we'll just go. And it was actually really, really fun. Like, it was a lot, I don't really do exercise. Like, I just, I've never really been to a gym properly for longer than like 15 minutes. It was like a 40 minute, like, bike session. It was really, really good. You can Google it if you want to see what it is. But I really loved it. We are going to do a bit more sightseeing. We're going to travel up, well, actually, I think it's traveled down. We're going to go to Ground Zero, which is like one of the things that I've always wanted to go and see. I have a bit of an obsession with like learning about 9-11 and I'm really into conspiracy theories and everything like that so I've always always wanted to go to ground zero and kind of like look just just be there and basically pay my respects and stuff so that's what we're going to go and do today which I'm really excited for it is an hour and a half walk from where we are now but we are going to walk it because we're wrapping up today I'll show you my outfit in a second it's going to be a really really cold walk but we're going to walk it and then I think we're going to go to the Golden Gate Bridge as well have a look at like the skyline and possibly go to Sephora and then we think we're going to go see Broadway tonight as well so today is going to be a very good classic New York day. So here is today's outfit and I'm not going to lie this isn't going to be to everybody's taste but if you were here in New York you would realise how bloody cold it is so I've got on this massive like it's actually not a 1D it is actually a jumpsuit from Misguided then I've put this belt on it from Pull and Bear and then I'm going to wear my coat as well and then just my trainers because it is freezing like when I mean it's freezing I mean it's freezing and I want to be warm I was going to say I want to be cold no I don't I want to be warm if we're going to be walking an hour and 45 minutes so here's today's outfit we are on our walk it's going to take us an hour and 50 hour and a half if we go there's two different ways we can go it depends which way we go but we're about I'd say we're about half an hour into it and I'm so tired already from doing soul cycle this morning and from a person who never does exercise my legs are absolutely Mine are dead yes yeah, Sasha's legs are hurting as well because she I've went for a run before, before we went to soul cycle she's been doing so much I'm just absolutely knackered but nevertheless I'm so excited as though we're going to see like sightseeing and stuff this walk is literally just a straight road as well which is so good we is have it? To, yeah the it's, just, it's a straight road the whole way until we get there Okay. So hopefully we should be able to start seeing the building soon. If we do, I will show you guys. But for now, I'm going to put my camera in my pocket because my hands are freezing again. Or this half just gave me my gloves. And I'm so happy. Primark really came through with these. That is Google HQ. That's pretty mad. Never thought I'd see that. Or like the New York Google HQ anyway. We are walking in like the back streets of New York now. And I don't know if you guys can see, but the World Trade Center or the New Trade Center is just up there. So now we're going to walk towards it. But how cool are these streets? I've took my coat off on that hot in this one. Wait, what? My bait on carrying my coat. I'm absolutely I'm really this angle is not really attractive. This oh god. So we are well actually we're not that far anymore. We did just stop and have a photo shoot. But I say we're about see it doesn't look that far, but I still think we're maybe 30, about an hour away. An hour? Well you said an hour and twenty like 
No, How minutes it was now? fifty. It was fifty minutes before we start. Oh. So I reckon it's about half an hour ish now until we get to. We can see the trade center, but we don't know where Ground Zero is. But I reckon probably about thirty minutes. But I want to stop off along the way and get some photos in front of some yellow taxis. We're up off in New York. We are nearly here. Our hour and fifty minute walk across New York City has been a success. We are freezing, but I'm not gonna lie. Look, we have some very eye-opening chats on the way here. Spoke about places to travel, dinosaurs. Try to actually spoke about life yeah. goals. Life goals. We've had very many deep chats in our time in New York, and we were saying it's so nice to actually get out and have some fresh air. Because if we'd got a taxi oh, here, so cool. where? Oh look, I'm back at That's my favourite place. <laughs> oh my god, I can't wait to do it all I over again. I just like yellow little stuff. Yeah. What, so you haven't even seen the word? No. You know, that's all yeah. cool. My vlog isn't even picking up how big this is, but it is so big. Like, look at this. Anna, we have a bar. Oh my god, that is the best news I've ever heard. It is quite a few hours later now and we are now back. So we actually went to Ground Zero and we went to the 9-11 Memorial uh, Museum. We just went there and had a look around the museum and just paid our respects and it was so, so lovely. And now we are checked in to our new room. We had to basically get a bigger room because our room was tiny. Like we literally felt like we were in a shoebox and the window, like obviously I showed you guys the view, but other than that we could just see a wall. So now they've upgraded us for free and we're in a much bigger room. So I will you guys a room in a minute but what's i gonna say to you oh okay so basically tonight we are going to be trying some american mcdonald's which i'm so excited for because i don't think i've ever had it i had a happy meal when i was in florida but like i don't think i can really count that no i had it when i was in florida i never had it when i was in la so i'm so excited to try it i want to try the chicken nuggets i want to see if they do a big tasty over here although i'm not sure if they're going to but that's what i really want to try and i know their milkshakes meant to be amazing as well so that's what we're going to do in tonight's vlog although i'm slightly annoyed because i just pulled my camera out of my bag and basically this always always happens the screws have come out so like basically the screen is going to fall off my camera so i might also need to go to cvs tonight and go and get blue tack if they sell that over here they also they're gonna sell blue tack but i just don't know what the brand is called but i need to go and get some blue tack so my screen doesn't fall off my camera but that's the situation we're gonna try mcdonald's and that's basically what i'm excited for just mcdonald's because i'm starving it is about half an hour later now and we are ready to go out we think we just had a noise complaint we were having a really good time we were singing a song we were trying to make each other laugh we had what song was it called love is an open door yeah from whatever movie it's from it was so good and the next thing we've got banging at the door so we can't sing but he doesn't really know that we're meant to be on broadway so that's their loss really here is the mcdonald's i'm so excited i'm at my home let's do this McDonald's in New York do all day breakfast. I'm just like, just McDonald's, like if you're listening, just pitch this idea to the UK one because it would it would genuinely be the best thing McDonald's have ever done. Okay, we've got our food. This Coke is absolutely massive. Saf is here as well, she's got her McDonald's. Okay, so I've got my chips, I've got my chicken, buttermilk crispy chicken tenders, and then I've also got a triple cheeseburger here, and I've got, let me get into it, 10 chicken nuggets. So we've got quite a lot of food to try. Okay, first of all, chips. See, I really like these. They're nowhere near as salty, but I prefer that. Further, they do, if I put salt on these, they taste exactly like the chips from home, but you get way more. We just put that in contrast because it's bigger than my head. Oh, it's actually bigger than my head. Then we've got the chicken nuggets here, which I'm so excited to eat because I love chicken nuggets. Actually, fun fact, in the UK, McDonald's only has four chicken nuggets shaped, no sizes and shapes. They're exactly the same because of the way it's like molded in the factory and stuff. Here, I don't think they have that because these are all like random different sizes. Oh my god, I prefer them here. And they're more southern fried, that's what it is. These taste more like KFC to me than actual McDonald's. But they're still really nice. And then, I've got these, which is a buttermilk chicken. I don't know if this is going to taste more like chicken nuggets, I have no idea. But I have a feeling this is like the southern fried chicken from home. That's exactly like a, what do you call it, from home. Oh god, I've got names them. Chicken to left. That is literally a chicken to left. So, to me that is a buttermilk chicken. 
I think we call butter milk chicken a different thing to what Americans must call it because this is literally like a chicken selection at home. I've got a triple cheeseburger which we don't do at home either, which I would love to do at home because wait. So I actually think I prefer the American McDonald's. I don't think, well, it's not that I don't like English rolls because I just live and breathe off of it. But this is like such a nice, like, refreshing taste compared to what I used to eat. Definitely not say you don't like the UK McDonald's. I love the UK McDonald's possibly too much. It's because there's one right by my house. They built one literally a two minute drive. But let's be honest, you still travel. I still, yeah, oh yeah, I still travel <laughs> home. If I fancied a big tasty, I'd probably end up driving an hour to go and get my big tasty. They don't do a big tasty here by the way, that was one thing I was a bit upset about, but everything else, love it. And now I'm going to sit and enjoy my food. Here is all my food and I've got a tangy barbecue sauce as well, which is so good. I think I prefer the American McDonald's if you guys haven't already told. Tangy barbecue, try a bit. Is it? Mm-hmm. It's tangy. It's really good. I've been eating for maybe like two three minutes and i've already managed to have half of this burger it is that good the triple cheeseburger is something else if you guys come to new york i don't know if it's just a new york thing or whatever but you need to get it but i did take these out because i'm not a massive fan of these i've been slightly defeated by how much food i ordered i definitely did order a bit too much but i did eat all the burger for me anyway because basically i'm really weird and i don't eat the end of the burger even though a burger is round and it's a circle i will never eat the last bit because it never tastes as good as the middle and every time I tell someone that, like, it doesn't make sense though because it's a circle and I'm like, yeah, I know, but I know what I mean. If anybody else does that, please comment down below because I'm the only person I've ever met that does it. But I always do it. I just have the two little like circular ends of the burger because I just feel like I can't eat them. But other than that, my McDonald's was absolutely amazing and I'm very happy that I came here for dinner and I've got to experience New York McDonald's. Like I said, I never tried it in LA, but I've tried it in Florida and it was really good. Their milkshakes are meant to be amazing. It doesn't look like they do them here. But in Florida they did like in a clear cup and they put like squirt cream on it with like a cherry and everything. But I feel like this McDonald's doesn't have nowhere near as much to offer as others would. But anyway, we're now gonna go to Sephora, do a bit of a makeup shop, and then I will see you guys there. We are walking up to Sephora now. I honestly don't even know what I want to get, but every time I come to America, I feel like I need to come to Sephora. So cue the makeup shopping. I really want to buy this. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Highlight. Just wait until I show you guys what this looks like. It is incredible. Okay, it is now the next morning because me and Saf actually fell asleep last night. We were so ridiculously tired. Walking around and doing Soul Cycle has taken it out of me. Like, so some people I know it was probably only like an hour class, but that was a lot for me and our legs are killing. But the last thing you would have seen last night was we went to Sephora. So I'm going to do you guys a little Sephora haul. I didn't get low but I've got like four things in here three things I'm actually really excited about the first thing is just quite like a basic thing I always get them when I go to New York because I want to use it tonight and this is a Sephora coconut face mask these are so good but I can't work out if this is a sheet mask or like a like normal like smear on face mask I want to say that it's a sheet mask and I actually really hope that it is because I prefer sheet masks but I couldn't find like any other ones at Sephora so I got this and this was like three or four dollars i think but they are really good weight yes oh my god yes it's a sheet mask it's a sheet mask i just found it on the back okay so then i got three other things so the first thing i feel like is quite a controversial buy in the beauty world like it's got a lot of controversial opinions on it but i personally wanted to try it so i could tell you guys my opinion on it and this is the beauty blender bounce liquid whip Longwear foundation now obviously when this first came out i know there was a massive hoo-ha about the shade range i'm not sure what exactly happened after that i've heard a very 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 mixed reviews on it and i can't imagine it it's going to be my favorite foundation in the world at all but it says that it's full coverage and i've just been really intrigued to try it because you can't really get it in the uk or i don't think we can really get it in the uk so i picked up this and mine is in the shade 1.4 because i wanted to go a little bit darker to what i usually am even though i do have a bit of a trouble with matching my foundation because apparently i can just never ever do it the next thing i got is this from tar and this is the tar drink of h2o hydrating boost moisturizer now every time i go to 
Sephora, I can never, ever, ever find the Tarte moisturiser or any Tarte skincare because it's always sold out. To be fair, that is like in the Paris one, it's always sold out because in Paris, well, actually, no, because when I went to LA as well, they barely had, well, they literally had no Tarte skincare. And then me and Saf managed to get some of the last ones of this. It's basically just a moisturiser, but it is the most incredible moisturiser. I cannot even tell you guys. So this is the pot. It looks like this. And I'll do a little close up in a minute, but it's so, so nice. And then the final thing that I got is this from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is the Amrezy Illuminator Highlight. As soon as I saw this in the packaging, I was like, that is going to be the most gorgeous gold toned highlight. And it is literally that. It is amazing. I'm going to have to get it out of the package so I can show you. Okay, so this is the Tarte Moisturizer. As you can just see, it's just this gorgeous, like clear, consistency it's so bouncy it is literally amazing so i'm going to be using this while i'm here because my skin is very very dry and then to be honest i wish i bought two pots so i could have brought one home with me because you really can't get these in the uk and then here is the anastasia beverly hills amrezy highlight how gorgeous is this like this is literally the most insane highlight i've ever seen it was 30 dollars but just look at it like i'm going to use it in tomorrow's vlog in my makeup routine but yeah i got that and it's absolutely beautiful so that is basically it i'm gonna end today's vlog here i really hope you guys have enjoyed new york day three even though it is today and i'm literally gonna be starting my next vlog in two seconds um we have a really exciting day planned so i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please write a huge thumbs up and i will see you tomorrow at 6 p.m for a brand new vlog Mwah. bye